In this video, I will teach you how to create a custom bar style that you can use to automatically format the Gantt bars for particular types of tasks. You know, recently, a project manager asked a question in one of the Microsoft Project user forums. This project manager wanted to automatically format the Gantt bar with a particular color for specific types of tasks in his project. I answered his question, and the answer to that question I will teach you in this video. So let's get started. In this project, I would like to designate specific tasks to be major tasks in the project. And when I've marked these major tasks in the project, I would like Microsoft Project to automatically format the cell background color of those tasks to a light green color. And I would like Microsoft Project to also automatically format the Gantt bars for those major tasks to be the same light green color. Here is how to do this. It's a three-step process. Step one is I need to insert a column called Mark. To do this, I can right-click on the Duration column header and choose Insert Column on the shortcut menu. And then I can type the letters M-A-R-K, and there's the marked column. By the way, this is a column that most people don't even know exists. It's a flag field, so it's a yes-no value. What I've done to save time for this video is to pre-mark specific tasks with a yes value. These yes values represent the major tasks in the project. The second step is to click the Gantt Chart Format ribbon tab. And in the Format section at the left end, I need to click the Textiles button. This will display the Textiles dialog. In the Textiles dialog, I need to click the Item to Change Pick List and choose the item called Marked Tasks. Marked Tasks are any task whose marked value is set to a Yes value. So for these marked tasks, I now need to click the background color pick list button and I'll choose the light green color in the standard colors section. The sample area of the dialog shows what the mark tasks will look like. Then I need to click the OK button and now all of the major tasks have been designated and the cell background colors have been set to the light green that I wanted. The third and final step is to create a new bar style. To do this, double click anywhere in the white part of the Gantt chart screen to display the bar styles dialog. Then navigate down to the bottom of the list of bar styles and in the first blank row, enter a name for this new custom bar style. I'll call this a major task. Then right arrow over to the appearance column. In the bottom of the dialog, click the pattern pick list button, and I'll choose the solid pattern. Then click the color pick list button, and I'll choose that light green in the standard color section. In the Show for Tasks column, I'll click the pick list and I'll choose the item called Marked. This is the formatting for only marked tasks where the marked value is set to yes. 
This will be a row one Gantt bar. The Gantt bar will span from the start date of the task to the finish date of the task. When finished, click the OK button. Watch what happens when I click OK. Look, the mark tasks do still have the formatting of the light green cell background formatting. Notice the Gantt bar is also light green. Now let's give it the acid test. I'm going to change another task's mark value to yes. Let's see if it really works. So for create first draft plan, I'll choose yes and bingo. Green cell background formatting for the task itself and the Gantt bar is green as well. So who knew that you could create bar styles to automatically format the colors of Gantt bars in your project? I sure hope you learned something new in this video. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel and be sure and click the notification button so you're notified of new videos when they're uploaded. Also, if you have questions or comments, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in my next video.